Good morning everyone, Captain John here. And as you see from the title of this video, we are going down for the Super Bowl. There are nine buses total going down. So let's talk about it. Just got done pre-tripping my bus. This is the bus I'm taking down. It's early and cold, so let's get that door shut. Let's take a look at our bus here. It's one of our San Francisco MCI uh, J coaches. I love MCI, it's definitely one of my favorite buses. This one has the commuter seats in the back. All right, so I'm gonna get going here pretty quick because uh, it is about a five hour drive down to where we're going. <clears throat> uh, I will fill you in on all the details uh, later tonight when I get to the hotel, but basically we're, we're going down to do shuttle services for the Super Bowl. Uh, it's not going to be as glamorous as some of my, some of my other uh, NFL trips where we actually deal with the teams and behind the scenes and uh, get to go into the stadiums and show all the, the cool perks. Uh, definitely not going to get any of that on this one. Super Bowl is really a big deal uh, and for my um, out-of-country followers. Uh, yeah, it's like every single law enforcement agency you could think of is like you gotta do a background check just to even work the event. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy, it's a big deal. Uh, so we're definitely gonna be very low key, very low on the totem pole uh, when it comes to what we're doing for the Super Bowl. So nothing glamorous, uh, but anyways, I'm still gonna take you along for the journey, show you what I'm doing. And uh, this will be posted a few days after the Super Bowl just for security reasons. They really don't like us doing anything social media wise during the event, just for security, because it's such a large event. Um, so anyways, uh, here we go. Just made it to Windy Wheeler Ridge, which is right before the grapevine. Just lost my hat. It is very windy. This way is grapevine is that huge mountain right there. We're gonna have to go over. Just waiting for our other buses to catch up with us. We have nine total, and we're gonna continue over the hill. We went to Dodger Stadium. That's where we're gonna meet. All right, they're starting to show up. Here comes my buddy Aaron. Yeah, and my other buddy Paul just showed up. Now we're just waiting for the original Captain John, John Harden. He's been with the company for a million years. That's why we call him Captain John. He's the real Captain John. Just waiting for him, and then we'll be on our way. Paul just said, don't get him on camera. I just got him on camera too late. <laughs>
Jaguars. We just made it to Dodger Stadium. We're gonna park right here. By the end of today, this will be full of probably about 200 buses. All will be lined up with buses. And we will begin shuttling uh, from a certain area to SoFi Stadium. So I'll explain that. But right now we're gonna take this little bus right here to the stadium. And we are complete. All nine buses for store. Uh, we got, what, seven from Modesto and two from uh, San Francisco joining us. So anyways, as I was saying before, we're gonna all board this bus. All bus drivers will board this bus and they're gonna take us to a hotel to check in and I'll uh, give you guys an update on what we're doing for the day. It's not every day that you're a passenger on one of these motor coaches. There's another Prevo over there. They're starting to call for me. I'm gonna have to drive one here pretty soon. Announcement to come. Anyways, got off the shuttle at our hotel. It's the uh, Comcast NBC Universal building right over there. And here we are, we are staying here at the Sheraton Universal. I've never stayed on this property before. So thanks to the NFL for providing this. So if you're familiar with this area, so here's the Hilton right there. That's the Hilton Hotel. So on the other side is the parking structure and, and down this hill right over here is Universal Studios. So if you've never been here before, that's where it is. This is actual the actual hotels for the theme park. Let's go check it out. We have a shuttle to take you to downtown, uh, not downtown Disney, um, City Walk, which is like downtown Disney, a bunch of shopping and food and all of that good stuff. Have a little dining area here. I'll have to come back and visit that a little later. Let's go check out our room. You know, one of those hotels where you gotta swipe your card before you select your floor. Here we are now on the tip floor. Bam! I didn't time that too well. There's the view. Got the pool down there. Tradition as always, let's lock the door and check out this room. So as you walk in, you have your see-through closet. It's actually lit up on the inside. Very fancy. You have some uh, jars on display that are kind of like a museum, nice and backlit. With some complimentary water, got coffee, refrigerator, no microwave. Um, which is a shame. It's a little workout, uh, work desk. Not workout. They do have a gym though. They have some uh, nice artwork. Obviously all movie themed since we are at the Universal Studios official hotel. 
Get some more over here. Here's our bed for tonight. Nice little backlit going on, even on the chair over here, you got some backlight happening. Very cool. Let's check out the restroom and see this light here. It's not actually not a light, it's a piece of glass. And then this is the restroom, so let's go see that. The door's really hit. He's a barn door, my goodness. And here's our restroom. See, that's that piece of glass. It's kind of lit from in here. Fancy looking bathroom. And let's check out to see the view from our room. You have uh, a glass wall from floor to ceiling. No balcony, unless you're on one of the lower floors like that. You can kind of see they have balconies down there. Uh, but you do get the view of the pool. Nice little, uh, like, sectional type, cul-de-sac type uh, couches. If you get down there before anybody else, have a nice little spot. And we have the view of all the houses up on the hill. It's kind of open for a view of actual, the actual theme park, but it's on the other side of the hill that way. So anyways, that is uh, the room provided by the NFL. So let's talk NFL since uh, we are in the hotel getting ready to relax. It's kind of explaining what we're doing here. Like I said earlier this morning before we left, this is not going to be a, uh, a traditional NFL move like what we've done in the past. This is uh, basically going to be staff members. They park off-site away from SoFi Stadium, away from where the Super Bowl is being held. Uh, they park at a, a designated location, and uh, several hundred buses are here to provide all kinds of ground transportation. That way we're not clogging uh, parking for uh, fans that are going to the game and other staff members that have to park near the stadium. So we're about 20 minutes away from the stadium, uh, SoFi Stadium, from where uh, our employees are going to be parking. We'll shuttle them back and forth. It's basically going to be a 12-hour shift. So we checked in here uh, around noon, and it's almost 2 o'clock right now. So uh, tonight at midnight, I have to go down to the lobby here in the hotel and catch that shuttle going back to Dodger Stadium where all those 200 buses are parked. Uh, we're going to be there by around 1.30 in the morning, start doing our pre-trip, uh, be ready to go by 2 a.m. Uh, we need to drive over to our designated pickup spot, uh, you know, yet to be determined. We're not sure where that's at, but we're going to be going over there and just shuttling from that, that one parking lot uh, to the stadium and just back and forth on that route. And that, and we're just doing that for 12 hours. All we're doing is shuttling back and forth, back and forth from uh, parking to the stadium, stadium to the parking. Um, so we will be doing that until about 1.30 p.m. Uh, the day, uh, game day, Super Bowl Sunday, 1.30 p.m. will be our last round trip departure and arrival and then uh, back to Dodger Stadium to park the bus. And we are done for the day. We're finished, we're done before even the game begins, which is actually really nice. It's gonna be a long day, it's gonna be tiring. However, uh, we get back to this hotel probably around two o'clock, 2.30, depending how hectic things are, 2.15, who knows. Uh, then we just come back to our room and sit here and relax and enjoy our view or sleep in our bed, watch the game, maybe go down to the restaurant uh, with the with some of the other drivers who are you know we want to go down and watch the game and maybe have a few drinks or something and uh, maybe something to eat and then that's it just come up here and crash for the night very simple very easy and then for me uh, the following morning Monday morning Valentine's Day uh, we will I will be driving back up to the San Francisco Modesto yard uh, to conclude my Super Bowl trip so that's it just kind of want to you know document what's going on explain it i'm not going to end the video just yet i do want to kind of um show what i'm doing what i can show anyway because you know nfl has a lot of strict rules uh so we we, we kind of know that already because we do a lot of nfl moves but they reminded us on this trip you know don't ask for autographs you know 
not that we will be dealing with anybody that you'd want to add, ask an autograph for. Um, but, you know, just a, a general rule. You never ask for an autograph. You try not to bother people, you know, especially any celebrities or athletes or anything. You just kind of want, you know, want them to be in their zone, doing their own thing. You don't want to bother them. Um, obviously, you know, no smoking. They don't allow smoke. NFL does not allow smoking drivers. So all of our drivers are non-smoking. We do not, we can't smoke and drive for the NFL. Uh, what else? Uh, they're very strict with social media, especially on game day. Uh, this video is going to be posting several days after the game. So I'm not worried about anything. And I'm not showing anything that could be um, security sensitive. Uh, we do have creden credentials to get into the stadium and things like that. Uh, I will not be showing that at all during this video because they could be replicated for other years because they're very similar. So I won't be showing that kind of stuff. But there might be a few other cool things I'll get to show you guys. So stick around for that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll conclude this uh, on game day before heading back to Modesto. So stick around. We're going to have some fun. We're going to enjoy our view. And good morning. Here we are. This is this one lot with buses. So you can see there are quite a few. And there's another lot on the other side of the stadium that has just about as many, if not more. All right, so we got our bus pre-tripped. Getting ready to rock and roll. So a little rough start to this morning. I was gonna try and film something uh, in the hotel before we came over here, but uh, we were notified that there was no 12.30 shuttle. Midnight was the last shuttle. So we had to scramble to get everybody, everybody together this morning, all nine drivers, you know, communicate to them saying, hey, get your butt downstairs. Our last shuttle is about to leave. Just to find out that that was not the case. And so we kind of rushed for no reason. Um, just some miscommunication going on. So a little rough start to the morning, but we're gonna recover and make it a good day. At least we all got enough rest. That was the most important thing. Everyone's rested and ready for this long shift. So here we go. We'll explain more down the road. Okay, so we just arrived at our first location, kind of a meeting point, uh, several buses here. Uh, we're going to be shuttling uh, from the other side of this campus to the stadium and back and forth. Pretty much what we're doing. just a big loop. And there's our buses. We're still waiting for a few more to show up, but we're basically all here getting ready to go. All right, so this is what we're doing. Our uh, passengers park in the parking structure. And they walk over here to check in, show their IDs. Uh, this line was much longer. There's got to be, you know, thousands of people here. They get checked in, they get their credentials. These are all staff members for the stadium, for the Super Bowl. Uh, security, hot dog vendors, ticket takers. I mean, pretty much pretty much everybody comes here to this location. They check in, get a boarding pass, basically. And then they come over here. You see on camera, there's a line of people over there. And that's where we go to line up. So uh, we're the only motor coaches I've seen here, but they have a ton of school buses also. So it's funny, there'll be a, a, a long line of school buses loading up passengers, and when I pull up in this motor coach, they get excited. <laughs> They're like, yes, we got the good the good bus. Not that our school buses are bad, but uh, the motor coaches are just much more comfortable, more plush, definitely more of a smoother ride than those school buses. So anyways, as you've probably been seeing in my video, I do have this official NFL hat, as it say. Los Angeles host of Super Bowl. And they also gave us this pin. Very nice. So that's about it. Um, just doing these loops, pick up here, go to the stadium, drop off, come back, pick them up. It's the same thing, just over and over, rep repetitive, just back and forth, back and forth. Uh, the traffic is starting to pick up a little out there, so we're getting a little bit more obstacles, a little bit more challenges. But for the most part, it's uh, it's been a piece of cake. Got more, more buses pulling in. Oh, it's time to go. Let's go.
are back at Dodger Stadium. These must be the uh, the night crew, or I'm not sure if anyone started earlier than us. I gotta tell you, I am exhausted. I'm very tired. Did not sleep well last night, and uh, I probably won't even finish the game. It's only it's not even 2 p.m. yet, and. Uh, yeah, I'm exhausted. Game's at 3.30, so I'll get to the hotel before the game actually starts. But, um, yeah, I can't even think right now. I'm so tired. I'm really exhausted. Uh, I'll probably watch the kickoff and maybe eat something real quick, and then uh, off to bed I go. And then tomorrow early, tomorrow morning, shuttle back over here, grab my bus, and go home. We're probably going to have to wait for... Well, I did not finished the Super Bowl last night. I was just too tired. I guess I'm just becoming an old man. <laughs> but it was a long day. I mean, we were all exhausted. Um, you know, I did watch uh, the kickoff, and I think I started dozing off right before the halftime show. And I think I woke up just a little bit to see part of um, the end of the end of the game. Um, I didn't even see. I didn't see the end. Uh, but congratulations to the Rams anyway for for winning well deserved so anyways uh, yeah uh, check out of my hotel got my bags just waiting for the shuttle check out that, that nice little motorhome over there a Prado very nice so waiting for the shuttle I'm gonna go back to get my bus and drive back to Modesto and we'll all close this up So we just arrived. Let's see here, we drove. Oh, we have about a quarter of a tank of fuel. We drove about 780 miles total for the entire trip. Let's see how much fuel that requires in the MCI. going to do it for this episode thanks for watching congratulations again los angeles rams we'll see you in the next episode see you down the road